Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today here at the Everyday Counts program space. Uh, a restorative practice is very mellow and relaxing. We move into just a few supported poses with a little bit of gentle movement in between. As you will notice, I have a few props set up here. I have an extra blanket underneath me for warmth and comfort and two fairly thick bed pillows. In fact, I have two fairly thin bed pillows tucked into one pillowcase here and I've got two of those. And two blankets. Um, they could be any weight blanket, but that you can easily fold or unfold as need be. Okay, let's begin. So I like to begin our practice lying down as comfortably as possible. So you might use one of these pillows for under your head, or you might use one or two of these blankets. Again, these pillows might be too thick actually for comfortably under the head. So you can decide, I'm gonna use a blanket. And then you could stack the pillows to place under your knees, which sometimes alleviates any tightness in the low back here. So one or two pillows could be helpful. So take your time making yourself comfortable. I will mention comfort a lot in this practice because your comfort is the most important ingredient for relaxing deeply. So keep wiggling around until you've found comfort. Sometimes it helps to close your eyes and kind of feel that comfort from the inside out. You may have noticed I am wearing a toque and a sweater and socks. And that is because this practice is a very cool practice. And even an extra blanket over your body might come in handy. And so here we are now. Again, keep adjusting to increase your comfort. If it feels Nice to have the arms out to the sides, maybe turning those palms to face up or in to let the shoulders and chest soften. Or maybe even resting hands to the belly or the chest or somewhere in between. So just that sense of connection to yourself. Also keeping those eyes closed if it's comfortable, beginning to breathe through your nose if you can. I'll start to notice the feeling of the floor beneath you. And I call this the gift of gravity. As you begin to notice all of this soft support. Notice that you are held here. You will not float away. And as you tune in to where your body touches down onto the floor, you can begin to receive that gift of gravity, inviting that quality of stillness and connection into your body. And so if your feet or your heels are touching the mat, notice that gentle pressure of the feet against the floor. And notice that quality of stillness and connection. Notice where the backs of your legs touch down on those pillows or on the floor. That gentle pressure against the skin on the backs of the legs. Inviting in that 
quality of stillness, connection. And notice where your buttocks and parts of your back touch down. That gentle pressure. That soft support beneath you. Inviting that quality of stillness. Connection. Noticing where your arms and hands touch down on the floor or on your body. Again, there's that little bit of pressure against the skin. As you receive the gift of gravity, receiving that quality of stillness and connection. Notice where the back of your head touches down. Inviting that quality of stillness and connection. Notice everywhere that your body touches down, fully supported, held. In stillness, connection. Here we are now. If it suits you, you might bring a hand to rest to the belly and a hand to rest to the chest. And feeling the warmth and the weight of your own giving hands. Perhaps offer yourself some sweetness here. A kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. those hands. 
even maybe wiggling the fingers or toes, or maybe turning the wrists or ankles, maybe yawning. You might feel like stretching the arms long, or even wrapping those arms around yourself, big hug. Okay, so we'll begin to move a little bit here. I'm gonna see if we can reach down for our pillows and simply move them off to the side. It's wherever they can be easily reached. And then notice if your head is comfortable, slightly elevated with that blanket. If you wanna remove it and notice how it feels to have the head flat on the ground, you're welcome to. But if that's uncomfortable, come back to that supported head position. Uh, we're going to take, we're going to keep the knees bent here and we'll take the feet wide to the edges of the mat. The arms can be at your sides or wherever they're comfortable. And then allow both knees to fall to one side. And back to center. And to the other side. Please feel free to adjust the width of the feet and the bend of those knees as we let both knees fall to one side. And then the other. And so this is where we can kind of use gravity that once those knees are going to one side, just let gravity have your legs. You don't have to force them down. They just go wherever they're willing to go with the gentle pull of gravity. Now you might be feeling a little bit of stretch at that far end of the movement, but we're not gonna linger there and you don't have to go into that stretch if you don't want to. In fact, in our restorative practice, we're looking for that sweet spot of what I'd call openness before stretch. Yeah. So now we are going to support this movement and allow it to be a gentle supported pose. So let's meet with our knees at center. And then we are gonna bring one of these pillows um, to our left side, kind of off towards the hip, but also towards the legs. And then we'll allow both knees to fall to the left so that that left leg is now supported on the pillow. And then this right leg also needs some support. So I might simply bring that blank, that pillow kind of between the legs, kind of resting towards the inner left thigh. And now the right knee can fall towards that pillow. So you might have to adjust here. Um, but yeah, both legs will fall onto the side. We've got a pillow under each one. You can adjust where those feet are. So that we really do feel that the legs are supported and they're not gonna go anywhere. And they were in that place of openness before stretch. So if you aren't really feeling any stretch, you could remove that bottom pillow and find that you're quite comfortable or even just remove a bit of it. So you can, again, move into that place before stretch, but that feels open. And the same with that lower leg. You could adjust the pillow so it supports you a little bit less, but you're still comfortable. So once the legs feel fairly comfortable and supported, you could play a little bit with the arms. So you could reach the arms kind of out to the sides if you wanted, just as an invitation to open the arms. You could support the head again if you need to. Yeah. And as you close your eyes here, you might notice that you're still a bit uncomfortable and you wish to adjust. Please do. Closing your eyes, breathing through your nose. Inviting that soft the belly to receive the breath here. And so with the in-breath, maybe feel the belly expand or lift. A slower out breath, the belly draws back in. And that's what we're looking for is a lot of quiet through the chest and ribs. 
And that, that breath movement is happening through the abdomen, maybe into the waist, into the low back. Letting those legs be heavy, fully supported. And as we rest here for a couple more minutes, let's once more receive the gift of gravity. Now notice where your feet and your legs feel supported. Inviting that quality of stillness and connection. And still the belly rises and falls. Let's notice where our buttocks and parts of our back feel that support beneath. Inviting stillness and connection. As the belly rises and falls with the breath. Notice where your arms and hands feel that support. Stillness and connection. as the belly rises and falls with each breath. Notice where you're Head feels supported. Inviting stillness and connection. And noticing the belly rising and falling. Feeling everywhere the body touches down. Feeling all of that stillness, connection, support. Five or six more breaths.
And if you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to stay right where you are for as long as you are comfortable. And if you are ready to move into this pose on the other side, let's move nice and slow to start. So you might slowly guide those knees to center and see if you can move those pillows out of the way. I'm gonna rock those knees from side to side a few times. And you're even welcome to hug those knees to the belly if that feels better, a little rocking from side to side. Now when you're ready, we'll move into this pose on the other side. So remember the feet are wide, the knees are bent. This time we'll bring a pillow to the other side of that other thigh, and then a pillow in between, kind of resting against that thigh. So the knee comes to the side, and then the other knee falls to the side. Now, you might need sort of less support, and if that's the case, just kind of wedge those pillows a little further away so that those legs can move into a place of openness before stretch. Some of us might feel that stretch through the top of that thigh or that bottom hip, inner thigh. And again, maybe the hands will rest to the belly or somewhere out to the side, just inviting a little bit of openness to the chest and shoulders, adjusting the feet so they feel like they won't slip anywhere. Closing your eyes, you might notice there's still a little more comfort that needs to be found. So keep making those adjustments for as long as you need to. You can tune into that feeling of the belly rising and falling with the breath. Soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. Letting that be an easy, natural rhythm that you need not control. Simply notice and allow. Once more, we will Explore and receive the gift of gravity. And as we tune in to that feeling of support beneath the legs. And tuning into that feeling of stillness and connection where they touch down. And still the belly rises and falls. Now notice where your buttocks and parts of your back feel that soft support beneath. Feeling that stillness and connection. And still the belly rises and falls. Notice where your arms and hands touch down. It's 
stillness and connection. the belly rising and falling. Notice where the back of your head touches down. Stillness and connection. The belly rising and falling. Let's feel all the parts of the body that are touching down, fully supported. Stillness and connection. As we continue to notice the rise and fall of the abdomen, let's count the next five or six breaths. as you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay where you are for as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to move, again, maybe it's fingers or toes. Or you on a stretch. We're going to slowly guide those knees to center, and as we do, maybe we can remove those pillows out of the way. And once more, rock the knees from side to side. Next time the knees are upright, maybe you lift the feet and hug the knees towards the belly, a little rock here. And then perhaps we can roll all the way over, push the top hand into the mat and come upright. Yeah. And we're just keeping those props kind of organized so we have them when we need them. We can lean into the hands here and keep those feet wide, knees bent. We're gonna rock the knees here. So you're probably noticing a theme here. We're exploring this movement. Yeah. And so knowing that these in-between movements are totally optional, but sometimes they prepare the body a bit for the practice, I'm going to invite a little bit of a twist. So we're going to meet with the knees at center. As the knees fall to the right, let's lean into that right hand. We're going to lift the left arm off the mat and slowly reach around the body. Maybe reaching behind you. And then slowly guiding. That arm back, place it on the mat, knees are coming to center, knees fall to 
the left. We lean into that left hand so we can sweep the right arm around and behind. And slowly back. Let's do this once more in either direction. I imagine a gentle twist, kind of starting at the base of the spine, reaching all the way to the crown of the head. So I'm leaning to the right, sweeping that left arm around. Imagine that twist from the base of the crown, sorry, base to the crown. And then all the way back, reach those fingertips away. I know this can be strong on the hands, so really gentle here. If you need to be on a fist, that's fine. We're gonna bring those knees to the left, sweep the right arm off the mat and around and behind us. And slowly back. Great. Okay. I'm just sitting comfortably upright so you can watch me get started here. And if you've done a restorative practice with me before, chances are you've done this pose. It's one of my favorites. So now I'm going to move these blankets down towards my legs so they might be a support between the knees. I'm going to use both pillows to support my upper body. So I'm stacking them like so on the mat so there they are lengthwise and stacked. I'm going to lean into those pillows a little bit so I can bring my legs to the other end of the mat. And what you'll notice is they don't need to be perfectly stacked, though they might want to be. They're kind of just wherever they want to be in relationship to each other. And sometimes even a blanket between the knees um, can be nice. Uh, but again, you'll kind of know. You just kind of follow your own comfort here. From here, we're going to come upright and bring hands to either side of the pillows. So you're already start of ori starting to orient your chest onto these pillows. And then we're gonna lower down and turn to face the same direction as your knees. So a few things to consider here. Um, if there's a discomfort in the belly, too much pressure from those pillows, you can always move them further away. So there's a little more space there. Or even move one further away and one closer so you can play. Um, if there's discomfort to the breast tissue, it really depends, you know, which side it's on, if you can adjust um, breast tissue as you come down. Another option is to use that second pillow sort of under one of your shoulders to elevate that side of the chest. And again, that's going to be totally up to you. Um, with the angle of the head, sometimes bringing your head closer to the edge of the pillow means you can turn to face down a little bit rather than all the way to the side. Um, the forearms might be slightly elevated on one side or the other. And sometimes it's nice to build the ground up to meet us. So there might be a pillow for under that forearm. Okay, so lots of adjustments here. Same with that bottom hip. If we need to adjust it, if we need to place a pillow or blanket under it. And so here we are, a gentle twist for the spine, fully supported. You can close your eyes here. And again, notice if you're comfortable and keep making those adjustments. In a twist, there's a little bit of compression to the abdomen. So those soft belly breaths will need to kind of migrate a bit into that top side waist and into the low back. So for the next few breaths, let's see if we can soften through the waist and back. And with the inhale, we can feel that expansion with the breath. And exhale, nice and slow, softening onto this support. So I thought we could begin to focus a little more on 
this relaxation breath pattern by adding a gentle count to the breath. For example, the inhale could be a count of one, two, the exhale, one, two, three. Inhaling, one, two, exhaling, one, two, three. So as we rest here for a, a few more minutes, Perhaps keep that count going to focus the breath, to focus the mind, and to deepen the relaxation. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you do feel ready to move into this pose on the other side, let's move nice and slow. Maybe wiggle the fingers or toes. Maybe there's a yawn. We're going to bring those hands right under the shoulders. Begin to push the ground away to come up right. So let's come back to that little bit of transitional movement here as we lean into the hands, feet wide, and we'll rock the knees again. If you'd like to add that twist, please feel free as the knees 
fall to the right. We lean into that right hand, sweep the left arm off the mat and around. And slowly back. Do this once more in either direction, if you so choose. Slow, gentle movement. And then we'll meet back at center so we can prepare for this pose on the other side. So some folks might simply turn themselves around. I'm going to move the pillows to the other end of my mat. Again, we're stacking them lengthwise. And having these blankets wherever we need them. You might have different needs on this side, so just being prepared to adjust and leaning into these pillows to get my legs to the other side of the mat. Again, they don't have to be stacked, but they could be. I know I'll probably want a pillow between the knees, but again, might have to move it. We're bringing our hands to either side of these pillows and slowly lowering the belly and chest down onto them. And this is where we might have to adjust for breast tissue we might support a shoulder. We might adjust these pillows so that we don't have too much compression through the belly. We might support one of the forearms if it's slightly elevated. And then you know, continue to get comfortable. We are very good at being uncomfortable. And learning to find our own comfort does take some practice. You might close your eyes. And again, you might notice some discomfort. You might keep making adjustments here because your comfort matters most. Eyes are closed, breathing through your nose if you can. Notice how we might need to invite that inhale into the waist and into the back as there's a little, a little compression across the abdomen in this twist. And softening the body to allow that inhale to expand in all directions. And the exhale, softening in all directions. Inhale, soft and deep. And the exhale, softer and slower. And as we rest here for a few minutes, again, we might invite that count of the breath. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three. And focusing the mind. Lengthening the exhale. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three.
Inhaling, one, two. Exhaling, one, two, three. Just a few more of these relaxation breaths in this pose. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to stay for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move into our final pose, maybe there's a wiggle to the fingers or toes. Oh, maybe there's a yawn. You want to glide those hands right under the shoulders, push the ground away, and come on back upright. Okay, so now it's time for our final pose. And this is a lot like our original final, our original relaxation pose that we started with. Um, so you may want a pillow under the head or those blankets again. I thought I might try something a little different with the legs. So I'll show you that. And you might at this point be a little bit more chilly after such a mellow practice. Maybe that second blanket is for over your body. And so this is what might feel nice um, for the legs, just to keep focusing on that little bit of mobility and openness through the hips. You could have a pillow under each knee um, so that the legs are slightly separated. And that might feel nice while still having lots of length to the low back. And notice how that feels and that may or may not be the right pose for you even bringing the feet towards each other a little bit and letting those knees come out to the side um, so you can play with that right there's lots of options here that are still comfortable maybe even a blanket over the belly or over the chest even adjusting how much support you want or need under that head sometimes it's even nice to roll a little bit of that blanket right under that space of the neck, just to even give your neck, the back of your neck, that feeling of support. Yeah, and noticing where those arms want to be. And then closing your eyes. And again, this allows you to assess your comfort from the inside out. Continuing to make adjustments. Sometimes hands to the belly is nice just to keep us connected to that breath. So we'll cycle through all these different um, awarenesses we've brought into our practice today, starting with that gift of gravity. And so notice where your feet touch down, that gentle pressure of the body against the floor. Inviting that quality of stillness and connection into the feet. And noticing where the backs of your legs touch down, maybe on those pillows, maybe on the floor. Feeling that gentle pressure against the backs of the legs. Inviting stillness and connection.
Notice where your buttocks and your back touch down. And that gentle pressure against your buttocks and back. And noticing stillness and connection. And notice where your arms and hands touch down. That gentle pressure from the soft support beneath. Inviting stillness and connection. Noticing where the back of your head touches down. Feeling the soft support beneath. Noticing stillness. Connection. Feeling everywhere the body touches down. Feeling soft support. Stillness. Connection. As we rest here for a few more minutes, perhaps feeling the rise and fall of your abdomen. And inviting that easy count. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one. Two, three. And synchronizing with your own breath's rhythm.
if you have a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you'd like to return to that offering of sweetness, perhaps bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. Offering yourself a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation. Releasing those hands. This is where I will leave you. So when you are ready to move on with your day, start slow, wiggle the fingers, the toes, turn your head, stretch, yawn, give yourself a hug. But take it slow and be gentle with yourself. Thank you so much for being here today. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Hopefully I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.